Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. If you guys tuned in last week, then you are very familiar with my beautiful tree, Evangeline. And thank you guys so much for the beautiful comments. I know you guys love her too, and I think that she's just the star of this season, and I love it so much. I'm already working on next year's tree, but this one so far is my favorite. Um, I just, I mean, with each tree and how they evolve each year, I just get so proud of myself because it's just, like I said, it's a, a thought and then I'm able to bring it to what it is now. And also the tree makes a, a great impression as well. So making sure that you have a great tree to be able to build on that makes all the difference as well. So in this week's vlog, we're gonna go ahead and decorate towards the front of the house. So we did partner with Cosway today. Um, they sent over some beautiful garland that I can't wait to share with you guys. It just drapes the my staircase so beautiful. And then also I did put some and make it real festive and creative in the foyer as well, so you'll see that. And we're also working on my beautiful console. I'll show you a picture of last year's console to this year, and it's completely a glow up. Um, really sticking with that theme of a winter wonderland it's actually it's so beautiful like every time when i walk past it at night and i'll read all the timers and the twinkle lights and all of those things come on it just gives me that joy and so if you guys are not um following us on instagram make sure that you do because i always post little stories and sneak peeks of projects that i'm working on throughout the house and people that follow me on instagram at this georgia clay are able to see those projects first so make sure that you go ahead and follow us on instagram right now um but with that console you're pretty sure that you saw a sneak peek of it but i have built upon that since the last time that i posted and i think it came out gorgeous this year so i like to keep some items on the console that i have from previous years but like to build onto them and then this year i just think that the the ideal just executed like that so let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog Let's get right into that console. So anytime that I start a project or you know decorating a space, I like to make sure that I have a nice clean surface. So I'm just using some Lysol wipes just to wipe it down, make sure that I'm getting any dust or debris. Um, on the mirror, I had some bats from Halloween, and this is like the last area that um, I actually took down Halloween decor. So I'm just cleaning everything off, and then you'll see me go back and, and clean off the mirror as well. Um, I thought I was pointing the camera down, <laughs> but you guys get the point. I'm just cleaning that area down below the console, and then I'm just putting some things back that I wanted to keep um, for the season. So I'm using some Windex, and um, there was like, you know, the bats, they come with this sticky kind of residue for the backing of them, and they're easy to take off, but they do leave like a film. Um, so I did just go ahead and get my little paint scraper and put the Windex on there and just scrape it and wiped it up. So it came off fairly easy, but it just takes a little elbow grease to get it off. Um, so I don't know if I'll use those again next year. Probably if I do, there'll be bats with suction cups that I saw from Kirkland's, um, but we'll see. Both near and far away It says we can live together And that we can find a way first know this I knew I wanted to use this garland somewhere on the mirror But I just couldn't figure out like how to get it secured without actually seeing the stem um, of the garland. Um, I hope that's what it's called, stem. <laughs> so I'm just trying to use some command hooks here and try to, you know, attach it to the mirror. And I've tried various ways um, of t attaching it, but it just, for some reason, it just wasn't working for me. I just didn't like how it was flowing or falling. Um, I kind of wanted it to hang off the mirror, but then also kind of cascade down onto the snow sign that I'm going to put up a little bit later. But I was struggling with this, but eventually I got it. So 
I got these LED birch branches from Costco. Um, for a two pack, it was $2.40, excuse me, $12.49 for the two of them. And I thought they were a pretty good deal. I should, probably should have gotten more. Um, you know, it's always something that I can keep for next year if I didn't utilize them this season. Um, but, you know, hopefully they'll have them again next year. But I did like that they came with batteries as well because it seems like all of my batteries have just been going with all of these items that just light up. Um, so that's something that you'll want to make sure that you grab a pack of batteries. But I was very happy that for $12.49 it came with two batteries and they were door sale too. So um, this comes with a timer so you can just set it and forget about it. So I just went ahead and put it inside of the base. Um, so I'm just extending the branches here, making them look as lifelike as possible. So you'll want to make sure that you do that. And then um, you'll just see me add a little um, spark. So I know I wanted to add a nutcracker um, on the console table and you'll see me go back and rearrange some things but I know that I wanted to give him a little um, color. So I went ahead and just gave him a couple of coats of the Farmhouse Black by rust and a matte finish and just made sure that I coated him very evenly, gave time for drying and then I went in I believe I gave him three coats to be exact just to make sure that I got all of the nooks and crannies. this is the most detailed vlog as far as me designing a space because normally I'll design the space and I'll go ahead and show you guys the completed reveal but this one actually challenged me because I kept changing things so many times and I actually let you guys see all of that so sometimes I'll have a design in my head and I'm like oh it's gonna be amazing but then I'll look at it like what the heck is this so <laughs> that's kind of how it was with this um, also again here is myself recording by uh, recording and I thought that I put the uh, camera down a little bit lower for you guys but again I did not <laughs> um, so I apologize for that not all of the time is Matt available to help me when I'm doing something like this so I'll kind of put up the camera on my own I'm getting better at it and making sure that I'm mindful of my position of the camera to make sure that I'm showing you guys everything that I'm doing so this is a work in progress guys I don't always have my husband to help me out um, but I think I tried the best that I could but again um, as you see that I kept changing the console table until I finally got a design where I'm like okay this is it let's go ahead and do it um, because at first I just felt like it was it was missing something it, there wasn't any spark or magic so So sometimes during the season when there's an item that I really want, I'll go ahead and get it. But then there's sometimes there's things that I'm like, you know what, I'm just not willing to pay that price, so I'll wait. So this was one of those items. And then also I knew for next year I wanted to do a white and black theme. So I was at Kirkland's and actually saw the sign and it was $79.99 originally. And I think it went down, the lowest that I saw was like $39. But after the season was over, I was able to get it on the clearance rack for $19. Bucks. So that's something that you guys can always do, you know, always look ahead for your next um, design for next year. Make sure that you guys are getting those great deals. I know that some people are like, well, why are you even thinking about next year? Well, that keeps you from overspending because you can find some great deals on colors and themes and things like that that they had this season but didn't fit your theme, but will fit your theme next year. So that's what I like to do is to get some items so I can use them, you know, for years to come.
So now that we're done with the console, I wanted to tell you guys about this great company called Costway. So with Costway, they reached out to me and at first I was a little hesitant because all I saw was furniture and outdoor and appliances on their website. But then I quickly did a little bit more searching and I found some beautiful Christmas decor. One that caught my eye was this beautiful garland and I just loved how it looked natural. It looked very um, flattering and then I loved that it was pre-lit as well. So I was curious and I went ahead and chose four of these. They are nine feet long and I chose them to go around my beautiful banister and I thought that it would look great in our stairway. Um, I also got from them some beautiful birch trees that you'll see a little bit later on in the vlog. But if you're wanting to save on these beautiful garland and anything else that's Christmas inspired on their website, please make sure that you check the link in the description now. So I was just attaching the garland to the banister using some zip ties and I went back in and made sure that I zip tied the actual battery pack um, to the garland itself and then also around an additional area of the um, staircase just to make sure that it didn't move or fall down, um, become loose or anything like that. And then also to attach the garland to itself, there's a green piece or another um, in piece to the garland and I just went ahead and wrapped them around together just to extend it and make sure that it looked like one continuous piece. Now when I came to the end of the banister, I had a lot of the garland remaining and so I just decided to wrap it around the end post just to give it a little bit more flair and then also um, to take advantage of the additional length that I had. Once all of the garland was secured to the banister, I went back and made sure I fluffed everything just to make sure it was nice and full. 
that the flowers, um, the poinsettias were nice and presented on the garland. And then also that I can make sure all of the lighting that's intertwined within the garland was able to be seen. Remember I said that I had four boxes of the garland? Well, it only took two boxes to cover the staircase. I did not do the full banister. There's a piece that you can see as you're coming up the stairs, but I didn't want to block any view of Evangeline, so I didn't put any garland there. Um, so I decided to put one of the garlands over the archway in our foyer. And it's actually something that Matt came up with, and so I thought that it would be beautiful, and I liked his idea, so I went ahead and did it. Um, so I'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I do have one more garland that I'm going to add around the front door so you'll be able to see that in next week's vlog. so my console table I really feel like it keeps that whimsical feel that winter wonderland that inviting um, feel here I love how it's engaging and kind of interactive as well because the let it snow sign lights up then I also have the garland which is the same garland that is on my mantle that actually changed a little bit because I felt like before it was more gathered in the middle so I kind of spread it out and I'll show you updated of what the mantle looks like um, but I got these stems here from Costco. They were $12.49 for two lighted stems. Um, I also got this nutcracker from Michaels. It was $24.99, I believe. And it was a nutcracker that I wanted from Pottery and Barn that inspired this. Um, but it was like $69 and it was zinc and I know that it is a metal, but I wasn't going to pay that much for just a nutcracker that I used for one season. So I decided to go ahead and get him, which he was unfinished wood and stain him in a matte black and farmhouse black because I keep that on hand with Rust-Oleum. So I just gave him a full little couple of coats down there and I'm um, down in the back of our house and he came out absolutely gorgeous. So he's here on the um, console. I also got this cute little Charlie Brown inspired tree from Target for $10. It's already flocked. It had a black little um, base to it. And then I just added some $5 twinkle lights that I got from Target as well. And it just created all the mood. These little um, snowmen here, I were going, I was going to paint them, but I decided just to keep them in a natural wood finish because I did have these little trees from the dollar spot. And they, I got the stone, the two snowmans in a three dollar pack. Um, and then this little lantern I got from Home uh, Home Goods. It was three dollars um, after all of the sales. Of course, it's sixty percent off. And then my uh, lamp always stays here. Um, also on the mantle, I always have this same um base here that stays here as well and then like i said i just put the stems in there and then a little fluff for some snow 
and snow around here. And then this came from Target as well in the $5 spot. And then this has always been here. I just switched out the pillow. So this one is the one from last year, Merry Christmas. And then my blanket stays here as well. And then on this side, I decided to just do some cute trees. So I got some different type of trees. This tree here I got from one of my friends, May from Ohio. She sent that over to me. So thank you so much. Um, this one's from Home Goods. Uh, excuse me, not Home Goods, Hobby Hobby. And it was only three bucks. And then I got this one from Target. And that was $10. And I just put some LED candles that I already had previously. This right here, though, on my console, I have this cute little house that I made our village was in that big old glass um vase that i had got and so this is just some shredded plastic that mimics snow and then these were five dollars each for the houses they do light up but it's just a pain to go back and forth and light them up every day i'm pretty sure that i'll just throw in a little led light and then we'll call it a day and then i got some black those are actually black um flocked little trees from home goods keep saying home goods hobby lobby and then again with the snow, just some cute little um, flocked snow that I put here, fluff is what it's called. And then I just wrapped them around some of the areas within the console. My uh, Cosway um, garland, I absolutely love. I think it's gorgeous. It came out so nice, better than what I expected. When you see things online sometimes that you really don't get the grasp of how it's going to look within your space. Is it really gonna give that true Christmas feel? Is it gonna look fake? Is it gonna look plastic-like? But this truly came out absolutely better than what I expected and I get a lot of compliments on the garland. Um, I did go ahead and just secure the garland using zip ties. So I do have some zip ties here. Um, and then it's all battery pack. Each um, piece of the garland is nine feet long. And to make my banister, I have two of them with this area here because my banister is not a two-story banister where I can continue the garland up the stairs. Um, I just went ahead and wrapped it around the post and I think that it looks really good. I also used another garland here for the front foyer of my space here. <clears throat> so coming in here, I went ahead and added garland around the arch detail and I absolutely love it. I think it was just an added little boost of festiveness. So when you come in and at night, I think it comes on around six o'clock, it's all lit up and it's beautiful and you just walk through that garland. I think that was just an extra icing on the top and Matt actually came up with that. So kudos to him. Um, I've been wanting garland to go around our arches, but I was thinking that it was too short, but then I was like, oh, well, actually it'll work better in here. So then that way it just kind of frames it out. So good job, babe. Um, also with Cosway, I got these birch trees. I've always wanted some. So I put them here in the front foyer and I think they're absolutely beautiful, especially when the back of the shutter from the front door is open and you can just see it at night when people are driving through. So I have those here. I just added some little a snow blanket here, again, all from Hobby Lobby. The snow fluff I got from Home Depot, and I think it was like $10 for a big, huge bag. And actually, I still have some left over, but it was able to do the areas that I wanted. And then this garland here, the bell garland, I got from Kirkland's. And I just strung it here with some command strips just to give it a little bit more festiveness when you walk within the house. So, And then this Merry Christmas sign I have from last year, and I just put it on the bench. Um, my mother-in-law usually sits here and puts her shoes on, but I think this will keep her from doing that. Um, so that way it doesn't get messed up or anything like that. So, um, coming back in our space, I wanted to show you again the mantle. Um, before it was just more gathered in the middle and I felt like it was just more given off like a boho vibe. So I decided to spread it out a little bit and cast it over on the sides. And then I ran back over the twinkle lights within them. So when they come on at night, they're really nice and festive and they're kind of like big, like a little miniature bowl. And then I finally got my uh, McGee and Co. Uh, bells that came in. So I just secured them here with a command strip on the side. I still need to take the tag off, but um, I think they're gonna really add that nice, just to break it up a little bit, add some more color here and more color detail. Speaking of color, I did have someone comment that says my house needs to have more color. Well, obviously she's not new or she must be new to this Georgia play because my color scheme is white, black and neutral and I won't sway from that. So if you want to see color, check out my kids' rooms. They have color, but within my house, that's my color scheme. So if you don't like it, there's a lot more um, influencers out there that you could follow that might be more catered to what you like in your home. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, it was just mainly pretty much just decorating the front entry of the home. We are going to be having a Christmas party, our first ever, I'm going to call it our first annual white elephant party. So that's going to be on December 17th. So I will be showing you some more decor down in the basement because I did put up our tree from last year down there. And I kind of kept with the same color scheme as Evangeline, but I added pops up like a deep 
um, forest green to kind of tie in with the green pops of green that I do have upstairs. Um, so I'll show you guys that more next week or probably the week after, but next week is gonna be our exterior of our home. So you guys will be able to see the Christmas lights that we currently have out. And again, like I said, if you're not following us on Instagram, you're missing out because I did post a sneak peek of how the exterior is looking. So we're still working on that, but um, that'll be for next week. So again, thank you guys so much for um, watching this week. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.